June is well underway and we are heading very quickly towards the solstice. Now, those of us in the Northern Hemisphere are seeing the reflection of the abundance of light that is moving through us. It's coming in from the central sun through our sun and it is just lighting up our field and finding its way into our body. That is all a function of your DNA activating. Now, as this happens, you're going to be experiencing a lot of interesting things. Some of those may manifest as physical symptoms, a lot of lower three chakra stuff, crown chakra stuff, heart chakra, pretty much running the full gamut. All sorts of interesting things happening as this energy is being released, density within the body and working its way up so that it could be experienced and be felt. So it's very important to tend to the body, bring your awareness inside and feel. Just hold that space. Allow whatever is happening inside to happen. Don't resist it. Don't fight it. In fact, facilitate it. Do some stretching. Do some grounding. Get outside in the Northern Hemisphere. Go put your feet in the grass. Go dive into a pool. Go just get yourself wet. Get yourself grounded and allow that energy to flow. Now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're going through a little bit of a compression right now. Feel that as that energy is released within you and starts to expand within your field. We're going to start to see a lot of manifestations, things coming back online, crown chakra stuff. You're going to start seeing um, things in the sky. Okay, You're going to start to perceive auras, a lot of third eye activations. Like I said, we are in the time of year now where everything is kind of running the gamut. Now, as your chakras get balanced, get into alignment, you're going to start to experience some of that magic coming forward. The magic that you are. As things align, your energy will flow so smoothly through you. You're going to find that stillness. You're going to find that center. You're going to find that peace. Enjoy within and allow it to manifest. It's going to come out. It's going to create this beautiful new reality around you. I'm feeling a strong connection with nature, a strong connection with animal life, plant life, insects, all of it. So when you encounter something, whether you're outside, near a tree, near a shrub, near an animal, even an insect, connect up with that consciousness and you will create an energetic flow between the two of you. Okay, everything here is to be experienced Consciousness manifests in many different ways. This planet is basically the environment that allows that to happen in such a unique way. That's why you came here to experience this. So as we remove that veil of separation, we start to connect up and feel everything that is in our reality, which is an extension or a version of us. So we reconnect with that. We realize that we're not so separate after all. We have this quantum connection with everything that we experience. And that allows information to be passed back and forth. So when you are experiencing nature and you put your gaze on nature, your awareness, you focus on it, you focus inside what you're feeling in the moment, information will transfer between you and whatever you're attention is focused on. That is the magic. That is the power that you have to connect up with everything. You are already connected. It's just to reestablish the awareness of that connection. And it's a lot easier to do now with the light that we're receiving. It's all moving through and it is creating just this powerful Venturi effect. And the energy is speeding up as it moves through your channel and it is just blossoming out into this magnificent new reality. That is your magic. Now, as your energy moves with your breath, you can put intent into that, and you can actually start to modify how it starts to manifest. So you want to make sure you align with gratitude and joy, especially when you are connecting up with those beings or those things, nature, whatever you want to term it, in your reality, connect up with it, feel it, establish that connection, ground into the planet. It's like roots going deep and connect up with everything that is there. We could do that through the planet. We could do that energetically 
It's all a quantum effect. And you'll start to notice that maybe timelines are going to start to bleed a little bit. You're going to start to navigate in and out of different timelines. Things are going to change slightly. That's just an awareness of these timelines starting to come together and overlap. Okay, so we're going to start moving more into timelines where your ET guides are going to be more present. The energy is going to be more present. You're going to start to feel them more. You're going to start to experience your guides a little bit more in a way that's unique to you. The important thing is to remember that the manifestation of the solstice is the effect, the cause is all happening within here. You are expanding your consciousness. Your light is expanding within here. Therefore, it's expanding externally. So connect up with everything that you experience and be sure to fully feel what's happening inside. We're still healing. We're creating space. This is an ongoing process. Each time we go through and we feel, we invite more of our higher selves to move into the physical vessel. We're creating space. We're doing it with intent. It's moving in, it's finding its place, and it's becoming integrated. And that integration is then reflecting out a higher frequency reality, a higher frequency version of Earth, new Earth. Now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, feel the energy, a lot of density coming up right now. You're being fully supported by the those around the planet. Plug into the grid and you will be able to quantumly connect with everyone who is aware of the energetic grid. That grid is being lit up. All the light pouring in is lighting it up. And that's manifesting from the DNA activations that we're all experiencing. Tap into that and work through the density that is within, that is rising up, that will allow you to connect up and bring that light and move it through you as well. Things kind of flip between the summer and the winter based on the hemisphere you're in, but it's all about feeling, feeling what's happening because it might be lighter on one side of the planet, darker on another, and then it flips, but we're all connected quantumly, energetically, and all in full support. So think of it as like just a big wave. Okay, you're going to be at the crest and you're going to be at the trough. But you're still the wave. So do your work, feel things are going to start to shift, but new realities are starting to manifest. A lot of weird stuff with timelines happening. So watch for that, but watch with space. Okay, observe. Be the observer. We don't want to be fully anchored in a timeline right now, we want the energy to be able to flow through us as these timelines really start to collapse and come together. So anchor into your body, anchor into the planet, but be in a mode of observing and allowing. It's really an exciting time. We're seeing a collapse of a lot of structures around the planet, energetic structures, old paradigms, are crumbling and falling apart. That's happening because you are anchoring the light and that density can no longer be supported based on the frequency of the planet. It is rising. You are rising. The planet is rising. The solar system is rising and we are moving into a new reality, which is going to just manifest some incredible amazing experiences. It's such an exciting time. If you guys have not downloaded my heart chakra meditation, great time to be doing that daily. There's a link in the description below. I'll see you next time. Thank you.